Hey guys, that my gamer back here for another video. And I actually got this idea from ABKKRA. Um, my man, you commented and said, can you make a snipe list or a price guide on, you know, what cards to snipe? And I, I got to thinking, you know, and I'm like, what cards can you really snipe that's very effective and you can do it over and over again? And then I thought, you know, I was sniping earlier and I was like, these playoff golds are actually very, very nice to snipe because people put them up for the craziest prices. So here's a list or a guide of certain cards you should look out for. And you can actually go through these playoffs, um, these playoff sets, and see, like, okay, so that's 1500 to 2100. No snipe there. But this would call was up for like a thousand. Go and get it. It's, and you just resell them, and you might not make like, you know, you might make like 600, 700 coins on each card, but it all adds up, guys. So, definitely, um, these cards can be very, very productive because of the fact so many people are putting these up so, so often because people are getting done, you know, solo challenges, opening packs, everyone's opening packs all the time, so therefore... These are always being put up, especially during the weekend hours is the best time to do this. Um, these are packs, oh sorry, these uh, sets are in the game till the 29th. So you have plenty of time to just go through here and, you know, just chillax and see if you can find any of these cards. When it comes to, um, so that's number one. That's number one you should be looking for is these sets. Because these sets, again, people get these and they don't care. They just throw them up. I saw, for example, earlier, I bought Demarius Harris for 500 coins on the auction block. So, for 2,000. That's how easy it is for when people put these up. Now, this is later at night when I'm doing this. So, I might not get anybody or get any lucky uh, things. But, yeah. So, that's number one is going to be just look through these sets and see. I mean, it takes like what? So far, this video, I've gone through two sets. And it took me like two minutes, two or three minutes just to go through a set. Like... It's not, it's not difficult at all just to go through each set. It's very easy and it takes like no time at all. And again, if you do see one, now the biggest, um, like a price guide to look at, if you want to say like what cards are sniped and what cards are not sniped, because sometimes when you're trying to get a snipe, it, it could cost like, you know, it could take 10 seconds that you need to get that snipe before bam, it's gone. So what you got to do is look at the first two numbers. Okay. So, if you want to know what 10% of 900 is, take the first two numbers and you got 90, right? That's 10%. 1,000, take the first two numbers, right? That's 10, it's 100. So, it, it's kind of confusing. I, I'm sorry, I actually, that was an awful representation of what I um what I was talking about. So, so 900, right? If it takes 10%, it's 90 because it's the first two numbers. 100, it's the first three numbers. So when you get into three numbers or four numbers, then you, you're going to do is take the first three numbers. So 1,000 is 100 tax. So as long as you get something for 900 or less, you're fine. Now nine, uh, 950 is 95 coins. So that's how you're going to, if you can remember that in your head when you're sniping, it will, it will save so much time because you don't have to worry about a calculator. You don't got to worry about nothing. Just go through and back. Okay. That's, a, that's um, what's it called? 1,100 coins. So that's 110 coins. Bam. Just remember that. Keep that in your mind. And you can snipe the elites too. A lot of people put the elites up for cheaper too. So that's right there. It's 9,400 coins. 10% uh, of that. So that's pretty much how you go. So you go through the next one. Again, we're at 10%. So, looking through this, that's 3,950 coins. Uh, it's 10% of that. So, for example, for these, like the higher numbers, you just take th uh, first 1, 2, 3, 3, 9, 5, add a 0. Okay, so that's how you get 10% of that. 3, 9, 5, add a 0. So, again, let me, uh, I'm actually going to use calculator to see how much that would be um, if you subtract that. So, we got 3, 9, 5, 0, 0. Um, you want to find a card for 35,550 coins or less. So, although the, you know, get the 10% tax might be easy, it's not as easy to figure out, like, you know, the whole entire, um, how much if you subtract it. So, right here, it's 1,950 coins, um, tax. So, you know, 
would that be like 17 you want to get for 17k or less and that's what i usually try to do i usually try to eyeball it so i can figure out like if i go through and i see this player and i know okay it's this needs to be 27k this one's easy whole numbers it's easy because this is 3k um with this one you just take the first number 3k bam um well the first three numbers one two three so that would be 3k so 3k you know is the 10 percent tax so you take that away from that that's 27k now you know okay i can't i have to get a will fuller under 27k which you know if you're going through again it, it could take a split second for you to miss a snipe so you gotta know real fast this is 1225 coins so you gotta know that real fast so and then you gotta do like the math on if you subtract it I like to just round to like the whole numbers, you know. So like if it's 12, uh, 12,000 coins, I round it down to about like 12, uh, about 10,000. I need to get under 10,000. So that's a good like, you know, kind of mental thing to do when you're looking for these cards to see if it's a snipe or not. Um, like this one, obviously, if you just look at them, you can see if it's a snipe or not. But, you know, just mentally, you're like, okay, that's 7,700 coins is the tax so i know it needs to be below 16 uh 69,000 for me to even attempt to go after it or make any kind of profit on it it needs to be below 69,000 same thing with this one it needs to be below 7,500 in order for me to make oh sorry it needs to be below what that, what would that be 7,500 minus okay yeah so 7,500 minus that would be 60 about 67,000 it needs to be below that for me to even make profit. So this is a you know quick way to just go through. It'll be like okay, if like you know if you and as you're going through, you're gonna start remembering how much these prices go for. So we know the 4200, okay, 39. So we got 3,950 coins. We got that one is 40 uh, 4,250. So you know if as if there's a card put up for under 35k, go for it. Right away. Don't think about it. 35k less. Go for it on that card. And you gotta just remember that and mentally go over. So real quickly, eighteen thousand or less. Go for it. And yeah, that's like that's pretty much the principles of when you're trying to snipe these cards. It's just remember how much the card like how much tax is gonna go. And if you can get tax down, like if you can get it down right away that that's twelve hundred coins. Then you're going to be able to mentally go for snipes faster because a lot of people mess up because they look at a card and go is that a snipe and then they think about like oh, if i you know they get the calculator out and they're like okay if this 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 and bam card's gone so you have to be very very quick with these things so you gotta remember real fast first three numbers one two zero so that means 120 add x zero 1200 you gotta just remember that kind of stuff so Hopefully that did help you guys out for that. Um, now, other than these cards to snipe, these are great cards to snipe because of the fact everyone to keep constantly pulling them, putting them up on the auction block. Um, other cards to snipe is if we go to the auctions and trades and we go over here, as you can see, I have all offense listed up. But what you're going to want to do is actually go to 85 to 89. And you're going to go to each team, but make sure you have all offense down. And the biggest thing is all offense. And the reason why is because of the fact that um, this actually limits it down from all offense and all defense. So you know you have you know, you know have more chances of actually seeing all the prices of the cards. So for example, what's it called? If I put it for 5,900, that's 590 coins. Um, I could actually buy this and make 100 coins. But you got to be careful because if you limit it down even more. All right, now we got lucky here. So this one is the same one. So if I if I wanted to, I could buy this, right? Put it up for 5,900, make 300 coins just like that. So and although it's that's not a lot of coins to be made, I understand that. I know a lot of people are going to have a problem with that. Like, oh, that's not that many coins. Just keep that mindset in your head that that is how easy a 300 coin because let's say you do that four times let's say you do it 10 times you know it all adds up and a lot of people like to think like oh you want to go for the big snipes you want to go for the 30 40k profits the thing is getting a 30k profit off a snipe could take you six seven hours right and you just get lucky one time getting 
five or you would say two to three K off a snipe could take you about ten minutes. And if you get that all the time, every ten minutes, you know, throughout an hour, what do you get? Eighteen K an hour, right? That's a lot better than making um six hours to make thirty K. Because six hours with that method, six times um eighteen I'm not that great at math, even though I, I can do I can do 10 cents, but I'm not that great. That's 108k for that same time you spent just getting 30k. So just remember, it all adds up, and always make sure you keep that mindset in your mind that it all adds up. So what I recommend doing is going through all every single team, go all offense, and try your best to see what you can um you know what cards are higher and lower. And again, it doesn't have to be the biggest profit. But make sure you are making a profit. That's the biggest thing. So Tanning Hill, and this is a lot of times you're going to have to do this. Um, <clears throat> Matt Moore, right here. That is a profit. So I can put this up for 87 k and I'll make about 1,300 coins off this. And that's pretty much how simple it is. It's just going through, and this one, of course, is a good example. If I make, you know, what, 1,300 coins off that... And I keep doing that over and over again. Let's see how much I would have actually made. So this is 870 coins. Subtract that 7,900. I've made about 1,900 coins off that. Just like that. 1,900 coins. If I do that, you know, 10 times, I make about 18K off that. Just that easy. It's simple. It's easy and simple, but a lot of people don't really think about it. Because a lot of people think like these small snipes are not worth it. But they truly... and it's sad but truly they are because if you do that 10 times once again that's 18 19k bam so so quickly you can get your coins up and you know especially when you have a lot more coins like i have a lot more coins i have 6 million coins and you know that's how i've been processing other than solo challenges it comes down to this it comes down to just slowly grinding your coins up now i could do this right here i mean i make 300 coins for this video, I'm not going to do it, but if I was on my own and like I wasn't recording, yeah, I probably would do that because it's 300 coins maybe, but it adds up. It keeps adding up. And another great uh, another great thing to use in order if you are having problems with knowing how much stuff goes for um, is going to be Mutthead. Mutthead is the bee's knees of this. And let me just switch over to Mutthead real fast to show you. Mutthead is going to tell you, you can go through every single filter in the book and see exactly how much players are selling for. If I go to DJ Swearinger, right, and I want to know how much is he selling for. He's selling for 5500 I can even go to update it to right now at, at the second we're speaking and see, okay, he's selling for 4400 4400 5200 4200 And just like that, I can actually go through. And um, as you're seeing this video, you probably remember earlier... Um, Let's see, right here. Remember, um, if you guys see my sniping series, that uh, what's it called that uh, James Jones sold thirty eight k. You know, I oh my bad. I still have a uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Thirty eight k. Uh, this one I bought in the sniping series eighty four hundred. It sold seventy nine hundred. These two Brandon Williams, I bought these both for twenty k. Both sold just like that guys it's very easy and as you can see i was sniping these um playoff cards the playoff goals earlier i was getting them for you know 950 uh selling for 950 coins i was getting them for like 600 coins and it's so so simple to just go through and do this and it all adds up in the end so my whole point guys is the cards to look for are going to be like this you know like this is actually wait no never mind don't go for that one but the whole point is, if you can, in your head, process real fast, how much does the tax do? You know this is 600 um, tax, right? 600 coins. 5,400 or below. If you see a card up here for 5,400, if you see a card up here for 5,000 coins, you buy it and you put it back up for 5,900. And it's so simple. People are going to buy it and you're going to make your coins. And again, you, you do this over and over again. Did my map more so? I bought Matt Moore for 6,000 coins, guys. I bought him for 6,000 coins. I made 1,830 coins off that selling that Matt Moore. And if I do that 10 times, I get, you know, what, what, 11? If I do that 10 times, I get about, like, 12K off that. 
and I do that, you know, throughout the day, I could easily probably do that a hundred times and make, you know, about 150, 160K off that. And right here, good example. I put that back up for 7,400. Someone buys a 7,400. And then I get, um, what's it called? I get about uh, 800 coins off this. Just like that. And again, it's it doesn't take rocket science. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to like be a expert at mathematics and think like, oh, how much does this actually go for? No, you can take the first three numbers. Again, first three numbers are 500, right? That's 500 tax. So all you do, go to Panthers. You know this, okay? We got four, we got um, 490 coins, so that would be 40 about 4400 and below. I could do this to make 200 coins. Again, I'm not going to do it because of the video. But if I was on my own, I would do that right there. Because that that's easy coins. Like this is... It, some solo challenges give you 250 coins for completing them. That's 400. That's double what you get from doing some solo challenges. So let alone you can just, you know, do this without even thinking. This is, this is better than some solo challenges. Alright. So we know this is 450 coins. So that's about 600 coin profit. I'll take that. I'll take a 600 coin profit. No big deal. And again, guys, it's not that hard to do. Just go through. And, you know, I might even, um, I might even put a tally in the screen on how much I'm making this video. You know, I don't know. I don't know how long I'll make this video because I might make this video a lot longer just to show you guys how easy it is because I really want to stress this point home and maybe if I can make 100k this video, maybe you guys will, you know, actually see how easy it is. Because, again, it's, it doesn't take much time at all. But the, that's a beautiful thing about it. And I'm just trying to hopefully you guys, um, hopefully you guys take this method and you make, you know, millions. Like, I, I've not made millions off this method. I've made a lot of coins off this method, but not millions. I've, I made millions off investing into this game. Well, not money, but, you know, investing, like, into cards, into promos, and stuff like that. So, all right. So, we see Doggy Body. The big thing you have to look at is chemistry. So, this has Ankle Breaker. So, you can, you know, you got to use that to your advantage. Because someone who is once an Ankle Breaker, you know, um, Doggy Body, they might put, um, I'm sorry, someone who has one, they might put it up for 3900 right? Not even thinking. And bam, you just take, okay, I have Dougie, oh, Dougie Baldy, it's 3,900. Next one goes for 6,000. Buy him and sell him again. Chemistries are huge. Because if you can go through and see chemistries and see how, you know, chemistries might, uh, like, be less, you can easily do that. Um, this is, it would be a 200 coin profit yet again, that card, to that card. But I don't really, I'm going to do that right now. 7,500. I'll take that, 8,900. No big deal. I'll take that profit. And then what I might do is I might just um add in all the coin account all the coins I make off this like in the end because I don't know if all my cards would sell right away. Um, that is a problem. Sometimes you might have to relist them, and that just comes with you know sniping. Sometimes you 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 might not be able to just sell it right away. And make an instant profit. You got to relist it a couple times. Wide receivers. Let's see. Nope, that's not it. Um, let's see if any of these other ones are a profit. We got 14k to 15k. Not really worth it. Vikings. And just go team by team, man. So all you do, just go by team by team, and then you start over again, Bears. Now, if I wanted to, I could switch to defense. It seems like offense is doing very well for me right now, so I'm going to stay on offense. But if I wanted to, I could easily just switch to defense and easily do that. Okay, so left tackle. Okay, so see, sometimes you don't see all the players, and that's also why we're doing the all offense and we're restricting it down. Because if you just see this, you know... Someone might, you might think, oh my god, that's a snipe, and it's not. So just make sure, if you think it's a snipe, go through and see the filters. Especially with these lower snipes, not too many people are going to be so keen to go for it right away. So, 
you might have some good time to be able to chill, go through and see what cards um, actually are, you know, snipes and what cards are not snipes. <clears throat> so that's a good thing about having these low overalls. Now, actually, that's a whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 what team was that? The Bucks. Go back. Because I just saw Snipe. <clears throat> and I know why. And you people might not realize this. Oh, wait. No mind, no mind, no mind. See, that's... Okay, so, my bad. If these both will power run, this would be a great example of what I was talking about. This is up for 3800 You know why? Because a person looked up Doug Martin and said, how much does he go for? So 4,000 coins. He goes, okay, I'll put it up for 3,800. Not thinking, well, how much does he actually go for? He goes for um, his impact blocker or impact protector or edge protector might go for a lot more than his power one edition. And someone might see it goes for 4K, put it up for 3,800. You buy the 3,800 for impact protector, sell it for whatever these, uh, you know, the other in, um, edge protectors are going for. So always remember that. That was, um, I thought that was a good example at first, but obviously it wasn't. So, um, 6,000. Let me just make sure he doesn't have a cheaper card in between there. He doesn't. Okay, well, yeah, I'll take that. 7,400. And again, it's that easy, guys. That easy. So let me put up for 7,400. And again, you might have to list these one or two times. It's not going to sell all these cards the first time you do them, but it's going to sell eventually. And I promise you, you keep going. Todd Gurley just sold. You know, I just made, what, 800 coins off that Todd Gurley. Or 600 coins off that Todd Gurley. It's that simple, easy, you know. And it's all about repetition. It's all about going from team to team. And you can probably make, you know, anywhere 20, 30K an hour doing this. It's very, very effective. And especially with, you know, prime times to do this. 2, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, you know. In the afternoon, when people are all on, during weekends are the best time, even at weekends at night. Like, at week, usually you don't want to do this at night, but during weekend hours, at night is, you know, you can easily do this. And it, it takes, oh, like I'm telling you guys, this, this is easy, man. This is easy to do. And I'll put it up for 8300 I, I bought it for 7000 put it for 8300 Right, just like that. I'll just make some coins. So, <laughs> during the weekend hours, it can, it really, really is effective. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Because a lot of people pull in packs, throwing cards up in the auction block. Okay, I mean, if it's going to be this easy, I'm just going to keep doing it. <laughs> the thing is, like, people are just trying to get rid of these because they're like, Oh, I don't want Tanning Hill anymore. I'm not going to use him. Okay, well, I'll just buy your Tanning Hill and I'll put him up for how much you should have put him up for. And, yeah. And then I'll make some coins off that. And, yeah, see? Now I have the cheapest ones up. And those people, they got the coins, but I'm going to make more coins overall doing it. So, let's go to Eagles. And again, just go through each single team and mark, okay. Okay, that's 8,500, no big deal. Oh, oh, do we have something here? Mobile blocker. Where's the next mobile blocker? Is it 9K? Because if this is what I'm talking about, guys, this might be it. This might be a good example. So let's go to mobile blocker. Didn't help that. Actually, it, I can actually limit that. 6,800 to 68. Okay, so let me actually limit it down so I can show you guys 100% what this looks like. Lane Johnson, okay? So what this is, is that's a thousand coin difference, right? So we know um, that's about 200 coin. Pro oh, actually, what is that? Seven. It's 780 coins, 10% of that. So it's about uh, 302 coin profit. What I could do here is I'm not gonna do it on the video, but if I, you know, if, if you were there, situation, you buy this card, you put it up for 7700. It's gonna sell because someone looking for mobile block in Lane Johnson is gonna look is going to limit it down to this, right? They're going to buy the cheapest one. But the person who did this, who put this up, probably wasn't thinking about that. They probably looked up how much Lane Johnson goes for, and just, bam, they looked at that, and that's all they did. Now, let's look. Oh, some more cards sold. Felt Rivers. Remember we bought Felt Rivers? How much did we buy Felt Rivers for? We sold them for 6,600 coins. 
wait. Oh, we saw it. We we bought him. We, we sold him for six thousand six hundred sixty coins. How much did we buy him for? Six thousand. So we made six hundred and sixty six coins off that one. Todd girl, we sold it for forty four hundred. How much did we buy him for? Thirty five hundred. It's it's very simple, guys. And hopefully all my coins, all my cards sell in this video, so I can show you guys um, how simple it is. But yeah, as you can see, someone thought, hey. Oh, he goes for 7,000 coins. I'll put him up for that much. And this one, I have no idea why this person put it up for this cheap. Oh, that's why. Okay, well, I mean, that's still... That's 200 coin profit right there. If you want to go get that one, that's 200 coin profit. I mean, people just put cards up and not really think about how much they actually go for. And if you just sit back, relax, chill, and go through each team, you can easily just find your way in making, like, you know, thousands, thousands, thousands of coins. And I know this might not be the quickest way. And, you know, there might be like, again, if you, it takes you about six to seven, eight, eight hours to get the 100K snipes. Or not the 100K, but like the 30K snipes. And the thing you had to look at is this is so effective how you can just chill, relax, lay back, and just do this and not even have to worry about much. And because these are low, or like, you know, low K snipes. You don't have to be like, oh my god, am I going to lose coins? Because if you do lose coins in the end, it's not that many coins you're losing. And right here, Jordy Nelson. Alright, so, okay, no. Actually, that's actually a snipe. A little bit. That's a 300 coin snipe, but I'm not going to. Again, in these videos, I'm not trying to do the 300 coin snipes. If you, you could go through it, I could do every 300 coin snipes. But that's not showing you much. Because that's just showing you 300 coin snipes. I'm trying to get the big ones because of the fact, like this, you know. 1,200 coin snipes. And the reason why is because I only have 20 cards I can put up at a time. And I want to put up as many cards as I can to show you guys them selling because of how this method actually works. So that's the reason why I'm not going for these 300 coin snipes. If I was on my own and I had all the time in the world to sell these cards, I would do that. But because I, you know, I'm not on my own right now, I'm doing this video for you guys. That's why I'm not doing that. So... Again, I'm going to go back in the video and check out how much I actually totally made. But, okay, what's the... Oh, 9,000. Right here. Bam. Just like that. That's a... Uh, if you take 1,000... Actually, wait. No mind. That's not... No, no mind. No mind. No mind. Is it? That's 1,000. Yeah, it's 1,000. No, that's 100. My math. That's 1,000. That has to be 1,000. Yeah, 10,000 divided by... Yeah, it's 1,000. Sorry guys, sorry. <laughs> sometimes my math, um, again, sometimes it is later at night, as I told you guys before. So get, give me a break on later at night. But yeah, so usually when it's that much of a differential, it's it's usually the snipe. But that is not a good example because that's not a snipe. But that is a great budget quarterback. Wink, wink. Videos out today, guys. <laughs> the video I created today was the best budget quarterbacks, and that's going to come out every day. Best budget running back come out later today, and then tomorrow will be wide receiver and tight end. Then we'll do the whole lineman, and then go so on and so on. So definitely check it out if you guys want to check out some great budget players. And actually, I I didn't give a shout out to the person who gave me the idea, so I'm gonna give a shout out to the person who gave me the idea. Ryan the Snatcher, he's the one who gave me the idea to do that uh, series because he said a lot of people have gold. Like, you know, best gold budget players. And he wanted to see the best elite. So I went through and made the best elite budget players. So definitely, you know, shout out to him, man. Great idea. Guys, if you want to give me any kind of ideas on a video, a video you want to see. If you're like, hey, I really want to see this one thing. But no one's doing it, you know. Tell me and I'll make a video about it. Explaining everything about it. Now, this AJ Green, I know this goes for 9400 I know it goes for 9400 so I'm going to buy it for that price. I'm going to put it up for 9400 Someone, I guess, you know, probably just wanted to sell it. Thought, hey, whatever. Um, you know, I just pulled them out of the pack. I'll put them up for 8,000 coins. Well, I'm going to buy that. And I'm going to put it up for 9400 And just like that, I'll make some coins off that. And again. Oh, okay. Well, I guess someone pulled like two or three of these. <laughs> And they're just trying to get some good pr Christmas presents here, guys. Because I'm just going to keep... If they're going to keep putting them up, I'm going to keep buying them. I'm going to keep putting them up for freaking what? Like 1,300, 1,400 coins more? So why not? Like this, it's easy. 
All right, let's see if they put another one up. Oh, they, they stopped. They actually, I guess he started realizing and he started putting up for 9,000. All right, well, you know, yeah, he'll eventually realize not to do that. And then, yeah, my cards would sell. Okay, never mind. Apparently, <laughs> apparently he's even putting them for cheaper now. So he's really trying to give me some coins here. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea why. I guess it's maybe maybe it's someone who keeps pulling these or something. Or maybe he has a lot in his binder. And he's like, alright, whatever. I'm just going to sell them all for the same price. And yeah. I mean, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. I'll keep, I'll keep making more and more. I'll keep putting more and more up. And keep making more and more coins. It's not a bad deal to me, man. Especially because of the fact of how easy it is. All I got to do is go through... I oh, put him up. I buy him for eight thousand. Put him up for ninety four hundred, and that's what four hundred coins. That's I get eighty five hundred. I can sell him for then, um, and I buy him for eight thousand. I make five hundred profit. The seven thousand one I bought, I make a fifteen hundred coin profit. No big deal, like easy, too easy. And actually, is that um is that Buccaneers guy, uh, Doug Martin? Is this a? Let me see. Nope, okay. I just gotta always make sure, man. The chemistries are the biggest thing to look for. Because the chemistries can actually, again, impact the price of a card. Someone could put up a card for a certain price because they don't think about chemistries. They just think, oh, hey, I'll just put a card up for this much. And it's so simple to just take away that and be like, okay, well, your chemistry. And not, like, they'll just put up for how much the card goes for. They search on the auction block. How much does this go for? They don't think about what the chemistry version goes for. And they do go for different prices. You can check my head. You know, different chemistry cards go for different prices. Okay, it's... It, okay, I'll take that again. I will take him 9 out of 10 days a week at 7,200 coins. Because I know at 7,200 coins, I can sell him for 8,300 9 out of 10 times a week. And I know later at night, like 3 a.m., his price even goes higher. That I just sold a tanning hill. Someone just bought my tanning hill. Really? Someone just bought my tanning hill for 8,300 coins as I bought a tanning hill for 7,200 to put back up for 8,300. Someone just bought this. Someone just goes to the auction house. I buy a 7,200 one. They're like, well, I want a tanning hill. So they buy it for 8,300. And that's mine. Both of these are mine. And they just bought one of mine. <laughs> oh God, guys, this is so funny. And if and you saw like um I again I sold it for eighty three hundred, and I bought him for seven thousand. So, like just like that, it's so easy. It's too easy. Yeah, it's too easy, guys. Uh, Julius Thomas, the uh, well when he was with the um, Broncos, he actually um. He got a touchdown against the Jets, and they kept covering him with a linebacker. And he and he screamed, "It's too easy," and that's what I think of when I think of what, what I'm doing here, guys, of, of making coins like this. It's too easy. 15k. Now the big thing about this is how much does he actually sell for? And we're gonna check this real fast. Hopefully we don't lose this card. Uh, we might, and that's a sometimes you. It kind of sucks, but it just happens. But we're going to check Mutthead to see how much he's selling for. He's selling for 17k. So that's... See, you think... You see that. And what might happen is someone might have both of those cards. And what they did was they bought both so that they could put it up for cheaper. As you can see, he's selling for about 16, 17, 18k. So this is not a snipe. Do not fall for these fake snipes. These are not, This is not a snipe because of the fact that... It doesn't sell for that price. Mudhead is a beautiful website for that reason. You can figure out how much stuff sells for and figure out all that kind of stuff. So just remember, it might not sell for a certain price that, you know, you, th you think it's uh, listed up for. People try to do that all the time. They'll try to, like, they'll put a card up for, they have two cards they put up. One's for, like, you know, 6,000 coins. Oh, one's for 100,000 coins and one's for 20,000 coins. So you think it's a snipe and it's not. What's sold? DeAndre Hopkins? How much did I buy DeAndre for? I got 8,000 coins from him. I got 8,000 coins. How much did I sell, buy him for? I bought 
7,500. So I got 500 coin profit off him. Okay. Now, I'm not I'm not mad. I am not mad about that. Okay. Go to the next. Oh, 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 that Brandon Marshall. I kind of, you know, I didn't, I didn't want, I didn't think about him. How much he at? Okay. Uh, again, that's about a 300 coin profit. I'm not worried about that. Um, if I wasn't making a video, I might be worried about that. And I might actually do that and get that and, you know, make that 300 coins. But I'm looking at 500 coins plus for this video. Is that my card? It is my card. And it's still the cheapest. Good. Because someone who wants Golden Tate and wants Deep Threat is going to buy that card. And I and I bought that card for very cheap. So, that's good. I bought him for like 5k. So, someone buys that card, I'll make about 1,000 coin profit. And again, it's just all about that. Like this, for example, again, I can make 400 coins off that. I'm trying to go 500 plus for this video. Because I want to show you guys me making coins 500 coin plus. Again, this is about 100 coin profit. I'm not worried about that. Although, you know, if you want to make every coin possible, that's the best way to make every coin possible. I might have to take a... Oh, wait, no. That's 8,100... Yeah, that's eight. That's about two hundred coin profit right there. So again, I'm not worried about that. But you know, if if you're you know if you're really low in coins, you want to make every coin possible. That two hundred coin profit is a good profit. I know a lot of people discourage that, saying like, "Oh, that's not that's like nothing." It's 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 something, you know, and it all adds up. You do that ten times, you get two thousand coins. It, it might not seem a lot, but it does start to add up, and once it adds up. It makes all the wonders. Okay. And I think I'm going to end the video soon. Because I don't want to make this video too, too long. Um, but definitely a good amount of coins. We could actually check how much coins I made. So let's see. Alright. So I have a, I have a card up for, we'll say, say 6,700. I have two of these up. So I'm going to make about... Um, 83 minus 830 times 2, 6,700. I'm just using a calculator to do all this math. Um, let's see, that's about 8,500, 8,500, 8,500. So I should walk away here, theoretically, with about 48,000 coins. Uh, the 48 to this number. Um... Let's see how much coins I had starting off this. I'm going to go to an old video I made in my last video. Sorry about that if you hear the audio. I made about 10K in this video. Again, that's, you might say like, oh, that's nothing. Then you made 10,000 coins. 10,000 coins. How long was this video? Like 30 minutes? 20 minutes? 20, 30 minutes? I made 10K? Like... Again, you, you might take six hours to get that 30k pool. Another card sold. You might get take six hours to get that 10k pool. And I made 30, I made uh, 10k in about 20 minutes. Again, I don't know how long this video is, but I made like 10k in about 30 minutes. And you might take six hours to get that 30k snipe. I think it's worth it. You guys. Can you give me a feedback down below what you guys think? But I think it's worth it. So the playoff was overview were fast. The playoff sets go through, snipe those goals, snipe those elites. Will memorize in your head first three numbers for ten percent tax. Second off, go through this, go through eighty five to eighty nine, go through and just do what I was doing. Buy the cards cheap, sell them for more, snipe those cards. And if you want to, if you really want to get those big snipes, and you're like. That says bull crap. I want to get the big ones. I want to get the 30, 40 K snipes. Then change up to 90 to 94 and go through each team, all offense, and do exactly what I was doing with all the higher overall cards. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, guys, this is after video. Um, I just want to show you that everything sold. I ended up making 10K off this whole entire video. 
And once again, I just want to show you everything that I had up ended up selling. So very, very productive day again. 10K for about a 39 minute video. Or not even 39 minute. I probably was sniping a total of like 30 minutes or 33 minutes. Very, very productive. And I feel like this is a great method. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you slap that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. 7,700 coins is the tax. So I know it needs to be below 16, uh, 69,000 for me to even attempt to go after it. Or make any kind of profit on it. It needs to be below 69,000. Same thing with this one. It needs to be below 7,500 in order for me to make... Oh, sorry. It needs to be below... What, that, what would that be? 7,500 minus... Okay, yeah. So 7,500 minus that would be 60... About 67,000. It needs to be below that for me to even make profit. So this is a you know quick way to just go through. It'll be like, okay... If like you know, if you and as you're going through, you're gonna start remembering how much these prices go for. So we know the 4,200, okay, 39. So we got 3,950 coins. We got that one is 40, uh, 4,250. So you know if as if there's a card put up for under 35k, go for it right away. Don't think about it. 35k less, go for it on that card. And you gotta just remember that and mentally go over. So. Real quickly, 18,000 or less. Go for it. And yeah, that's like, that's pretty much the principles of when you're trying to snipe these cards. It's just remember how much the card, like how much tax is going to go. And if you can get tax down, like if you can get it down right away that that's 1,200 coins, then you're going to be able to mentally go for snipes faster. Because a lot of people mess up because they look at a card and go, is that a snipe? And then they think about like, oh, if I, you know, they get the calculator out and they're like, okay, if this, 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 and bam, card's gone. So you have to be very, very quick with these things. So you got to remember real fast, first three numbers, one, two, zero. So that means 120, add X to zero, 1200. You got to just remember that kind of stuff. So... Hopefully that did help you guys out for that. Um, now, other than these cards to snipe, these are great cards to snipe because of the fact everyone to keep constantly pulling them, putting them up with the auction block. Um, other cards to snipe is if we go to the auctions and trades and we go over here, as you can see, I have all offense listed up. But what you're going to want to do is actually go to 85 to 89. And you're going to go to each team, but make sure you have all offense down. And the biggest thing is all offense. And the reason why is because of the fact that um, this actually limits it down from all offense and all defense. So you know you have you know, you know have more chances of actually seeing all the prices of the cards. So for example, what's it called? If I put it for 5,900, that's 590 coins. Um, I could actually buy this and make 100 coins. But you got to be careful because if you limit it down even more. All right, now we got lucky here. So this one is the same one. So if I if I wanted to, I could buy this, right? Put it up for 5,900, make 300 coins just like that. So in, although it's it, right, if it takes 10%, it's 90 because it's the first two numbers. 100, it's the first three numbers. So when you get into three numbers or four numbers, then you, you're going to do is take the first three numbers. So 1,000 is 100 tax. So as long as you get something for 900 or less, you're fine. Now nine, uh, 950 is 95 coins. So that's how you're going to, if you can remember that in your head when you're sniping, it will, it will save so much time because you don't have to worry about a calculator. You don't got to worry about nothing. Just go through and be like, okay. That's, a, that's um, what's it called, 1,100 coins. So that's 110 coins. Bam. Just remember that. Keep that in your mind. And you can snipe the elites too. A lot of people put the elites up for cheaper too. So that's right there. It's 9,400 coins, 10% uh, of that. So that's pretty much how you go. So you go through the next one. Again, remember with 10%. So looking through this, that's 3,950 coins. Uh, it's 10% of that. So for example, for these, like the higher numbers, you just take uh, first 1, 2, 3, 3, 9, 5, add a 0. Okay, so that's how you get 10% of that. 3, 9, 5, add a 0. So again, let me, uh, I'm actually going to use calculator to see how much that would be um, 
if you subtract that. So we got 39500. Um, you want to find a card for 35,550 coins or less. So although the, you know, get 10% tax might be easy, it's not as easy to figure out like, you know, the whole entire um how much if you subtract it. So right here it's 1,950 coins um tax. So you know, what would that be like 17? You want to get for 17k or less, and that's what I usually try to do. I usually try to eyeball it so I can figure out, like, if I go through and I see this player and I know, okay, it's this needs to be 27k. This one's easy, whole numbers is easy because this is 3k. Um, with this one, you just take the first number 3k, bam. Um, well, the first three numbers one, two, three, so that would be 3k. So 3k, you know, is the 10% tax. So you take that away from that, that's 27k. Now you know, okay, I can't I have to get a Will Fuller under 27k, which, you know, if you're going through, again, it, it could take a split second for you to miss a snipe. So you gotta know real fast, this is 1,225 coins. So you gotta know that real fast. So and then you gotta do like the math on if you subtract it. I like to just round to like the whole numbers, you know. So like if it's 12 uh, 12,000 coins. I round it down to about like 12, uh, about 10,000. I need to get under 10,000. So that's a good, like, you know, kind of mental thing to do when you're looking for these cards to see if it's a snipe or not. Um, like this one, obviously, if you just look at them, you can see if it's a snipe or not. But, you know, just mentally, you're like, okay, that, that's not a lot of coins to be made. I understand that. I know a lot of people are going to have problems with that. Like, oh, that's not that many coins. Just keep that mindset in your head that that is how easy a 300 coin because let's say you do that four times let's say you do it 10 times you know it all adds up and a lot of people like to think like oh you want to go for the big snipes you want to go for the 30 40k profits the thing is getting a 30k profit off a snipe could take you six seven hours right and you just get lucky one time getting five or you would say two to three k off a snipe could take you about 10 minutes and if you get that all the time every 10 minutes you know, throughout an hour, what do you get? 18k an hour, right? That's a lot better than making um, six hours to make 30k, because six hours with that method, six times um, 18. I'm not that great at math, even though I, I can do I can do 10 cents, but I'm not that great. That's 108k for that same time you spent just getting 30k. So just remember, it all adds up and always make sure you keep that mindset in your mind that it all adds up. So what I recommend doing is going through all every single team, go all offense and try your best to see what you can, um, you know, what cards are higher and lower. And again, it doesn't have to be the biggest profit, but make sure you are making a profit. That's the biggest thing. So Tanning Hill, and this is a lot of times you're going to have to do this, um, <clears throat> Matt Moore, Right here, that is a profit. So I can put this up for 87k, and I'll make about 1,300 coins off this. And that's pretty much how simple it is. It's just going through, and this one, of course, is a good example. If I make, you know, what 1,300 coins off that, and I keep doing that over and over again, let's see how much I would have actually made. So this is 870 coins. Subtract that 7,900. I've made about 1,900 coins off that. Just like that. 1,900 coins. If I do that, you know, 10 times, I make about 18K off that. Just that easy. It's simple. It's easy and simple, but a lot of people don't really think about it. Because a lot of people think, like, these small snipes are not worth it. But they truly, and it's sad, but truly they are. Because if you do that 10 times, once again, that's 18, 19K. Bam. So, so quickly you can get your coins up. And, you know, especially when you have a lot more coins. Like, I have a lot more coins. I have 6 million coins. And, you know, that's how I've been processing. Other than solo challenges, it comes down to this. It comes down to just slowly grinding your coins up. Now, I could do this right here. I mean, I make 300 coins. For this video, I'm not going to do it. But if I was on my own and, like, I wasn't recording, yeah, I probably would do that. Because it's 300 coins, maybe. But it adds up. It keeps adding up. And another great... uh. Another great thing to use in order if you are having problems with knowing how much stuff goes. Hey guys, that my gamer back here for another video. And I actually got this idea from ABKKRA. Um, 
my man, you commented and said, can you make a snipe list or a price guide on, you know, what cards to snipe? And I, I got to thinking, you know, and I'm like, what cards can you really snipe that's very effective and you can do it over and over again? And then I thought, you know, I was sniping earlier and I was like, these playoff golds are actually very, very nice to snipe because people put them up for the craziest prices. So here's a list or a guide of certain cards you should look out for. And you can actually go through these playoffs, um, these playoff sets, and see, like, okay, so that's 1500 to 2100 No snipe there. But this would call was up for, like, a 1000 Go and get it. It's And you just resell them. And you might not make, like, you know, you might make, like, 600, 700 coins on each card. But it all adds up, guys. So, definitely, um, these cards can be very, very productive because of the fact so many people are putting these up so so often because people are getting done you know solo challenges opening packs everyone's opening packs all the time so therefore these are always being put up especially during the weekend hours is the best time to do this um these are packs or oh, sorry these uh sets up in the game till the 29th so you have plenty of time to just go through here and you know just chillax and see if you can find any of these cards when it comes to um so that's number one that's number one you should be looking for is these sets because these sets again people get these and they don't care they just throw them up i saw for example earlier i bought demarius harris for 500 coins on the auction block so for 2000 that's how easy it is for when people put these up now this is later at night when i'm doing this so I might not get anybody or get any lucky uh, things. But yeah, so that's number one is going to be just look through these sets and see. I mean, it takes like what? So far this video, I've gone through two sets and it took me like two minutes, two or three minutes just to go through a set. Like it's not, it's not difficult at all just to go through each set. It's very easy and it takes like no time at all. And again, if you do see one, now the biggest, um, like a price guide to look at if you want to say like what cards are snipe and what cards are not snipes because sometimes when you're trying to get a snipe it it could cost like you know it could take 10 seconds that you need to get that snipe before bam it's gone so what you gotta do is look at the first two numbers okay so if you want to know what 10 percent of 900 is take the first two numbers and you got 90 right that's 10 percent 1000 take the first two numbers right that's 10 it's a hundred, so it, it's kind of confusing. I, I'm sorry. I actually that was an awful representation of what I um what I was talking about. So so nine hundred goes for um is gonna be a mutt head. Mutt head is the bee's knees of this. And let me just switch over to mutt head real fast to show you. Mutt head is gonna tell you you can go through every single filter in the book and see exactly how much players are selling for. If I go to DJ Swearinger, right? Now I want to know how much is he selling for? He's selling for five fifty five hundred. I can even go to update it to right now at at the second we're speaking and see, okay, he's selling for 4400, 4400, 5200, 4200. And just like that, I can actually go through. And um, as you're seeing this video, you probably remember earlier, um, let's see, right here. Remember, um, if you guys see my sniping series, that's uh what's called that uh, James Jones sold 38k. You know I oh my bad. I still have a uh, yeah there we go. There we go. 38k. Uh, this one I bought in the sniping series 8400. It sold 7900. These two Brandon Williams I bought these both for 20k. Both sold just like that guys. It's very easy. And as you can see I was sniping these um, playoff cards the playoff golds earlier. I was getting them for you know 950 uh, selling for 950 coins. I was getting them for like 600 coins and it's so so simple to just go through and do this and it all adds up in the end. So my whole point guys is the cards to look for are going to be like this you know like this is actually wait no never mind don't go for that one but the whole point is if you can in your head process real fast how much does the tax do you know this is 600 um tax right 600 coins 5400 or below if you see a card up here for 5400 if you see a card up here for 5000 coins you buy it and you put it back up for 5900 and it's so simple people are going to buy it and you're going to make your coins and again you you do this over and over again did my map more so
I bought Matt Moore for 6,000 coins, guys. I bought him for fi oh, 6,000 coins. I made 1,830 coins off that selling that Matt Moore. And if I do that 10 times, I get, you know, what, what, 11? If I do that 10 times, I get about, like, 12K off that. And I do that, you know, throughout the day, I could easily probably do that 100 times and make, you know, about 150, 160K off that. And right here, good example. I put that back up with 7,400. Someone buys the 7,400. And then I get, um, let's call it, I get about uh, 800 coins off this. Just like that. And again, it's it doesn't take rocket science. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to like be an expert at mathematics and think like, oh, how much does this actually go for? No, you can take the first three numbers. Again, first three numbers are 500, right? That's 